If applied properly, removing wallpaper from the 1990s and later is easier to remove than removing older wallpaper. Remove a faceplate from an electrical box to try to identify if the wall surface is plaster or drywall. You'll also discover how many layers of wallpaper you need to remove. In the U.S., up until the 1940s, you'll find plaster over wood lath. From the 1940s to the 1960s, plaster was put on top of a wall board, sometimes called rock lath. Rock lath was similar to drywall. It is about a half an inch thick. 16 inch rock lath boards were installed across the studs. Then a brown coat of plaster was applied on top, followed by a white coat of plaster. Next, during the late 1960s and 70s, modern day drywall appeared. It has a paper surface on the back and on the front. There are many factors determining how hard it is to remove wallpaper. Over the years, there have been many types of wallpaper, wallpaper adhesives, the dreaded paint over wallpaper, or if sizing or wallpaper primer was applied prior to papering. Most wallpaper adhesives are water soluble. Warm water is a good choice for removal. If the wallpaper is 1970s or earlier vintage, vinegar and water is effective. Find a seam and try pulling the paper away from the wall. If you are lucky, the top face of the paper will come off in large sheets. Protect the floors with some plastic. Put some towels down to absorb any excess water. If the top layer won't peel off, then you'll have to do something to allow water to penetrate behind the top layer. You can use one of these little wheeled scorers, sometimes called a paper tiger, or lightly sand the wall with an orbital sander and 60 to 80 grit paper. You want to run around to perforate the top layer of paper. Sponge some hot water onto the places where you've scored the paper. The water can also be applied with a spray bottle. Avoid spraying down anything electrical, lights, switches, outlets. Plaster will take a lot of water. Drywall, not as much. Let it soak five or 10 minutes and try to see if it'll start to lift up. If the walls are plaster, a steamer can help with multiple layers of wallpaper or stubbornly stuck wallpaper. And then when you're down to the paper backing, take a sponge and saturate that. Wait a little while and you can see it's starting to bubble. And then you should be able to scrape off
the bottom paper layer. If you have drywall, you might consider a wallpaper scraper. This will keep the angle even so that you don't gouge the drywall. This wall was sized and that made the removal of the wallpaper easy and all I have to do next is just wipe any residual adhesive off with a sponge and some warm water. In this room someone went overboard with the adhesive. Scrubbing with a scotch bright pad didn't remove the adhesive. I had to heat it up with a steamer and then scrape it away. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.